All right, we're going to start you right out with the radar over our neck of the woods, western Minnesota and eastern North Dakota. Things fairly quiet, but a few cells encroaching on Towner County and western Benson County. Uh, more active weather in southwest North Dakota, where we see all the reds and pinks there, some large hail and well, even uh, some tornadoes. More on that in a second. Right now, right on the county border here near Rolla and heading into the uh, Rock Lake area are a few thunderstorm cells. This one could contain some smallish hail. We're talking pea-sized at this point, so it's not severe, but you may see some hail and thunder from it and breathe heavy rain as well. It's only moving at about 15 miles per hour, so this guy... Well, it is about an hour away from Rock Lake if that one decides to build up in energy. Rugby, some thunderstorms right on the doorstep within two miles. You know, you'll be seeing thunderstorm activity quite soon. And as well, rural areas in parts of Benson County here will see the storms. They are about one hour away. Taking a look at the stuff in southwest North Dakota, south of Dickinson, a big thunder boomer with a couple of different hail cores here in pink. Another one moving right along uh, the interstate. I-94, this has a bow shape to it, so gusty straight line winds a possibility. And then this cell out here, which earlier produced a tornado that touched ground not too far from Beulah. There was the tornado report, and we also had heavy rain over an inch some hail. All of this activity is heading in our general direction, but it's a long ways away, so it likely will be mainly in the overnight hours before we see some of those storms. Their chance of being severe here, not great, but we'll keep our eyes on that. Right now you have 82 quiet degrees and it'll be quiet for long enough to enjoy the park or grilling in the backyard. Northeast winds are refreshingly cool and dry and only 10 miles per hour. Look at those cool temperatures as we mentioned last night and across north central parts of Minnesota. Only 60s there, 73 in Bemidji, 77 for Detroit Lakes. The farther south and east we go, the warmer things tend to get except for where we have a few clouds starting to move in and cap off your heating in the Devil's Lake Basin. Our by hour forecast shows evening storms in northeast North Dakota. Not expecting severe. We'll keep our eyes on that. This is through 8 o'clock. And then as we go through the 10 o'clock hour, these storms continue to push their way toward the Red River Valley tonight. So northeast North Dakota, north of Interstate 94, the best chance for evening showers and storms. Then some of these stronger ones will be pushing in as we get towards sunrise here. And we'll see scattered showers up north, strong storms. They could have gusty winds, maybe even some hail left in them as we go through the morning hours. And then the heating of the day takes hold. Tomorrow, after starting out in the 60s, those south winds will surge temperatures up into that 80 to 85 degree range. Wind gets quite strong here, gusting over 30 miles per hour. And then late in the day, late in the day, a chance for some storms moving in. These could be severe overnight into Saturday. So we'll keep our eyes on the skies. Keep that in mind. Strong hail producing storms, a possibility with gusty winds and uh, isolated tornadoes out in the west. Temperatures rising for your Far Fargo Friday afternoon planner into the mid 80s. Your hometown forecast shows another cool one across north central Minnesota. And again, farther south and east, the hotter things get and the sweatier things get. Here's another gorgeous photo of color and well, rays from the sun peeking down from the clouds in Twin Valley. Angie, thanks for uploading your photo. Planning forecast. Saturday morning showers and storms are likely then things quiet down and we will be cooler 70 degrees warming a bit on a quiet but breezy Sunday and we start the week early next week but I mean cool then we'll warm up as we go from Tuesday uh, with 86 and thunder Wednesday the entire weekend's not lost then no no it'll be quiet and a, a little bit more comfortable than our last weekend thanks Hatch. you bet